Hi, I am Kyle with Indelible Ink, and I am also with Five Minute Guide. Uh, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, set up MySQL in uh, OpenSUSE uh, Leap 42.1. So, first thing we're going to do, actually, we're going to give ourselves uh, root privileges, uh, not sudo. I didn't make that mistake this time. Um, and password, so yeah, su. Um, so now what I would do is I usually do a zipper update uh, looks like this um, you can do that and that'll update your repositories I'm not going to do it this time because I've done it so many times today already it's, it's just kind of ridiculous um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do zipper in MariaDB and MariaDB oops tools um, so that's going to look for those uh, two packages and print those out. Oh, I spelled MariaDB tools wrong. You know what? Uh, actually, I'm going to say no, and I'm going to redo that because I want them to both go at the same time. So. It's good, it's, it's good that it you know shows up in red like that, so I can tell you you know hey something's off here. Um, so yes, and hit enter. Those will start downloading and installing. Um, da -da 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 -da. This will take a little while. I mean it's like it's 100 megs, um, so depending on your internet connection and your computer, uh, it could take a little while. Uh, da -da -da -da. Should be getting close to the end here. And we are done. Okay, so um, so now what we want to do is uh, oops, system CTL start and MySQL. And that'll take a second. Um, I think it's just because it's such a large program, it takes a while for it to, to actually start. Um, which is, you know, another reason for this second command. Once this does finish up, hey, come on. Uh, okay, so now we're going to do systemctl and enable MySQL. Um, oh, got to spell it right. Uh, there we go. And that will enable it on startup. So we don't have to obviously do this system CTL start every time. Okay, so now we're going to set up our database. So MySQL underscore secure underscore installation. Um, and if you're starting this off the first time, just hit enter. And uh, there's, there's no password. Um, I shared did this earlier, so there was a password for mine. But we can change the root password, um, and you can just type in a new one. Uh, remove anonymous users. I'd say yes, um, because you don't want just anybody, you know, in there. Um, and actually, we're just going to say yes for all of these, um, and voila, it's done. So now to get into it, um, just type in mysql uh, dash u space root dash p and then you have to type in the password that you uh, just put in and voila you are in your database now you might notice that it actually says MariaDB but it's actually the MySQL database uh, Maria is just the the name of the uh, package that I went with um, to get out of there just hit exit um, obviously there's tons of commands that you can use um, but if you're setting one up I would assume you either know how to use it or you're going to learn. So that'll be a, another tutorial, perhaps. So I'll show you how to use, uh, you know, users and set up different tables and stuff. Anyways, uh, so yeah, if you found that uh, useful, give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like that, hit subscribe. Also, if you uh, have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the comment area below. Um, and if you have any ideas for other videos that you would like to uh, see other tutorials, uh, please leave a comment in the comment area below. 
Um, this has been Kyle with uh, 5-Minute Guide and Indelible Ink.